my name's Dave, and if you're at a studio session, you can call me Davey Poo, the mobile music minstrel. How you doing? All right. So I wanted to do another short one here while I'm at this session, and I want to talk about bringing the right tools for the gig. Okay, now this can apply to any instrument, but today I'm just going to make sure it applies to bass in particular, because that's what I'm doing here. I'm playing bass. So... What I mean by bringing the right tools for the gig is making sure that your equipment and your tones and what you're planning to do are appropriate for the gig at hand. You know, uh, different musical styles call for different equipment and they call for a different touch. So you want to make sure that you're outfitted for whatever you're doing. So let's talk about this bass quickly. This is my main instrument here, okay, is my Fender Precision Bass. It's a mid-80s 80 precision, mid precision bass. So, I've made this bass uh, into the sort of all-purpose, it'll do anything uh, bass. Uh, and I can use it for any gig because it'll pretty much do everything. Here's what I mean by that. First of all, I can get a very bright, snappy sound because I play with steel strings, which are very, very bright and so and pingy. So if I play slap bass, it gets a real nice um, slappy sound. And then also, I can dig in with my fingers and get it to bark really well. But I can also, if I put my mutes on, okay, with this little device here, I can deaden up the strings and I can make it nice and thumpy by doing that and just rolling off on the tone knob here, okay, it gets me a nice dead sort of more traditional precision bass sound, okay. This P bass is different than most. The traditional precision bass only has a single pickup in it, this split humbucker here, okay. I added this additional pickup because I wanted to have a little more versatility. When I play with this pickup, I can get that classic precision bass you know, tubey, tubby, old school sound. If I turn them both on, I can get a warmer, more of a modern, kind of a fuller, richer sound. And then if I go with just this one, I can get that sort of Jaco Pistorius uh, jazz bass-esque tone. Now, none of these are perfect. You're not going to cop every single tone with just one bass, but this can cover a lot of ground uh, and convince a lot of people. And then the various combinations of the pickups and the mutes and I've got a couple other tricks here. I've got a hip shot D tuner. This can drop my lowest string down to a D and then down to a C, okay? All of these tricks are designed to make this bass have a number of different tones. Now this gig that I'm doing today is with a blues band and we're doing kind of blues and R&B. So I wanted a thumpier sound. Now this bass is real punchy, okay? Even when I roll off the tone and I, I roll in the, um, the mutes, it's still real punchy. So I have a second bass with me that I brought to do the bigger, fatter, tubbier stuff because this is a bigger, fatter, tubbier bass. This is my Fender Mustang. It's a Pawn Shop Series Mustang and it has the big humbucker here in the middle, okay? I use this when I want something a little more old school. This has got old strings on it that are really dead, so they're real, they're a lot thumpier, and I get a much bigger, rounder sound. So I brought these two basses today because I knew we were doing R&B, soul music, country music, that kind of thing, and I wanted to make sure that I had the right tools for that style of music. If I was doing something more modern, maybe I'd bring a more modern bass. You know, I personally am don't think that say a Jackson guitar that maybe Lars, uh, Lar not Lars, uh, James Hetfield might play or Kirk Hammett might play in Metallica is probably not going to get you through that country gig. It'll, it'll do the job, but for a studio session where you're putting it down onto tape uh, or putting it down digitally, you really want to have the tones that the gig calls for. So there's my little thing about being prepared. I did another video about uh, what tools you want to bring to the gig. You know, making sure that you can uh, have the right tools for the right gig will make all the difference and you'll get hired back. So please like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you, uh, if you like it, it helps the channel. And uh, comment below, ask me questions or throw in things I might have forgotten. And uh, hey, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing more bass-oriented videos as we go on here. And uh, we'll see what you'll think of these. And I will see you guys next time. Let's see.